Hey everyone, Mr. Connors here, and we're ready to finally get started on looking at these worksheets I keep talking about. Our first worksheet is the dashboard menu, uh, and it's the overview of uh, what you're going to gain access to when you create your blog. And if we go ahead and actually take a look at the blog, you'll see that um, when you're taking a look at all of your blogs, and you click on a particular one, it's going to bring you to the overview by default. And you can see over here you actually have access to all the different menu items that we're making reference to in the worksheet. The only two we're not going to be talking about are Google Plus and Earnings. You won't be making any money by advertising on your blog, so sorry about that. And if you are interested in doing Google Plus, I suggest it's something you go ahead and do a little bit of research into before turning on. Anyways, the overview, well, it gives you a general overview. You get a little bit of information about what updates are waiting, like moderation for comments or what's been published or how many views have, have been had today, as well as where your top traffic is coming in from. Oh well, look, my top traffic is coming in from our sixth grade blog and, well, manage back. On the post tab, you can see all the different posts that you've put up on your website so far, or on your blog. As you can see, I have six posts created, but actually only four of them are actually showing right now, because two are still in draft mode. If they're drafts, they're not actually published. Once you're done and you're happy with that draft, you can actually click on Publish to see to allow people to see it. From this point, you can add tags or keywords to each of your labeled posts. You can revert to drafts. You can delete them. You can go through the process of editing each one individually. And you can see how many comments have made on each post and how many individual unique hits you've had on each post as well. If we were to go over to the pages view over in our menu, you'd see that I have a bunch of different pages created. In fact, if you look closely, you'll notice these pages over here actually mirror what's up on my menu on the website. And that's one of the neat features that you can create. Below your header, you can have a menu of the static pages that you have. And, well, I've created pages that I think are interesting and important for our blog. Here's where you can actually create the pages, edit the pages, revert to draft, delete them, and even move them around. So, for example, if I wanted course info actually after units, I just click, drag, and move it to where I want it. And it would actually show up differently up here on my menu. If I go down to comments, well, I don't see anything yet because, well, I don't actually have any comments awaiting moderation. I haven't published any comments from others outside yet, and I haven't marked anyone who's tried to comment on my blog as spam. But this is the area where that would be taken care of. Why do you think it would be important for us to have comments moderated? You let me know. If we go down to stats, we can see actually a lot more detail than we could see before as to how many hits we've gotten, where people are coming in from, including what country they're coming in from, how many hits you had in the last month. You can kind of get a sense and an idea over time about how well your blog is doing. In the Layout tab, we can choose where we want each of our different features or, or elements to go. You can add gadgets along the side here, and there are lots of different kinds of gadgets you can add. You should research those. You can determine if you want your pages up in your menu, what you want in your header, where you want your blog post to show up. And if you go to the template, you can actually choose the different type of default template that's going to show what your blog looks like. And I talked about the fact that there's the dynamic views and the simple views. I particularly like the simple views, but you can choose the one you want. If you want to customize those templates, you certainly can by adjusting the background and the widths of the different columns and choosing actually, as far as layout goes, how many columns you want and where you want those columns to go. That's going to be up to you to decide. Eventually, you'll get down to the settings button, and there's lots of information in there that you might want to pay attention to. Remember I told you earlier that there are some things that you can go ahead and change later on? Well, this is the place where you'd go through the process of doing that. And you can even do other things, like determining whether or not you want your comments moderated. What other interesting information is in there, and why is it important? Well, you tell me. If you go down to other, you can even do things like um, making sure that you don't want any adult content posted. Yeah, and there's other types of different tools in there. So I'd love to hear from you guys what you think the purposes of those are. So you're going to look through those different tabs and use your worksheet to help you figure out what each of those different pages is for. I want to know what the purpose of them is and what their function is. And when you're done with that, you'll actually be ready to head on to our next video, actually adding new posts. So I'll see you over there.